This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and I am continuing my series on 40 millimeter aluminum padlocks with this lock, the Abus Model 7240. Before we get into that lock, I wanted to point out that in the description of this video is a link to a spreadsheet put together by YouTube user Brad G. That spreadsheet outlines the findings on all the other locks that we've outlined in this series, so if you're looking to catch up, that's the place to do it. Brad, thank you very much for putting that together, and I'll be updating it as we go along. Now on to this ABUS 7240. If we look at the keyway, we can see it has lots of little bits of warding there. However, it is not paracentric. We have a clear line where this full-size 25,000 standard pick can pretty easily pick any of the pins. So this lock will not be getting points for either having a paracentric keyway or for requiring a special pick to open it. Before we get to picking, there is one problem with this lock I have to point out, and that is that it can be bypassed. I can't get my normal bypass tools in here. However, this Sauber dimple pick seems to work pretty well. Let's see. There we go. Took a little bit of getting to get it into place. However, it does open up. So we will be subtracting points for that lock being bypassable. I'm going to put a tiny Sparrows wiper insert in the top of the keyway there for our tension and use this Sparrows standard hook in 25 thousandths. I think that wiper hook is touching our front pin. It wasn't moving. Okay, click out of one, click out of two, click out of three, click out of four, click out of five, just went into a false set. Counter rotation on six. And that opened this lock up. Okay, let's take this apart and see what's inside. Like most of these locks, this comes apart with a screw right down the shackle hole. Okay, we need to get this clip off the back before it will come apart. And now we just need the key and a follower. Okay, we can see this is a six pin lock and all six chambers are pinned up. So it will get some extra points for that. And what I'm seeing here is all standard key pins. Let me arrange these and then we will get the driver pins out. Moving on to the driver pins. Number one is standard. Two is a spool. Three is a spool. Four is a spool. Five is a spool, and six, six is a spool as well. Okay, so the bidding must have just been terrible. So most of these spools did not come into play. However, they are there. Okay, going through our points. We do not get points for a paracentric keyway. No points for requiring a special pick. We do get points for having six pins in this lock, and that's two points, but we immediately lose those two points for this lock being bypassable. There's no counter milling in the core, so what we are left with is just the pinning. And for the pinning, we have no points on the key pins and five points on the driver pins for the five spools. 
and that will be this lock's final score. That puts it in a tie with our master lock, series 6835s here. So the question becomes, do I rank it above or below the master locks? And I'm gonna put it below because this lock is bypassable. So the ABIS 7240 will be in second to last place. Okay, let me give you a close up of these pins now. As you can see, all standard key pins, a standard driver pin in slot one, and then five spools in slots two through six. Moving over to that core, you can see that it is a six pin core. However, no counter milling or really anything special about this. Okay, that's all I have for you on this ABUS model 7240. If you have any questions or comments about this lock, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.